All right, we are hitting live right now. Um, thank you so much, Media, for joining today's introductory press conference with Bria Holmes. Um, for those just joining for the first time, all of our press conferences in free agency are live on Twitter. So for any friends or family that ever want to join, we're really excited to launch that um, this season. But without further ado, we're really excited um, to bring Bria Holmes into the team and into the fold, and I will kick it over to her to uh, just say a few brief words, and then we'll go into questions. Uh, hey, everyone. Um, I'm Bria Holmes, as you all may know, um, but I just want to say thanks to the Sparks um, owners and Derek Fisher for giving me this opportunity. I'm forever grateful for this opportunity and, you know, um, ready to get to work. Thank you, Bria. We'll go right into questions. We'll start with John W. Davis with Windsider. Good West Coast afternoon to you, Bria. How you feeling? Good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. How about you? I'm doing well today. Doing well today. It's a nice sunny day here in LA. Um, <laughs> can you kind of talk to me about, you know, your versatility in your game and how do you feel like you can fit into this Sparks roster? Um, definitely, I take pride in defense. You know, that was one thing of me coming up. Um, um, that's what I'm known for, versatility and athleticism on the defensive end as well, too. So, you know, um, I think I fit in with the Sparks pretty well. Um, they have a lot of athletic guards on the on the wings and the perimeter. So, you know, I think I fit in pretty well with them, like Brittany Sykes, uh, Sydney Weiss. Um, you know, just the smaller guards, too, like Erica Willer, um, Taya Cooper, you know, just them. They're athletic and, you know, they love, they love to get out and run and, you know, stuff like that, just like me. So that's my game. And, you know, I feel like I fit that style of, coming to LA and being that person to do that type of stuff. Go to Brady Klopper with SB Nation. Hey, Bria, welcome to LA. Congrats on the contract. Um, Thank you. After two years with, with Connecticut, obviously had a, you know, kind of a front row seat to seeing the Sparks playing them both in the regular season and then in the postseason. Um, obviously Connecticut got the better of those games, but what did you see from the Sparks in that time that made you want to join them? Um, honestly, um, like I said, um, I think at me and my position, I think I was a good fit for LA. Um, out of most of the teams that, you know, which I was talking to and, you know, were interested in me as well. So, you know, I think that played a part in a lot of things too. Um, I wanted to be somewhere and go somewhere where I was able to fit in and I felt comfortable at my position and, you know, being able to, you know, Show, showcase my talent and, you know, just having the opportunity, you know, um, I feel like these last couple of years, um, I haven't really got the opportunity, you know, showcase my talent and show what actually I can actually do on defense and too, as well as offense. So, you know, just being able to have this opportunity, I feel like it's a great situation for me going forward. Thanks, Bria. We'll go over to Miriam Swanson with the LA Daily News. Hey, Bria, welcome to LA. Um, yeah, so you mentioned sort of showcasing your skills and, and whatnot. Um, I'm kind of curious about how those conversations went with Coach Fisher, or I guess General Manager Fisher too, um, in, in that regard. Like, what did, what did he tell you that, that you thought that kind of that, that spoke to you about doing that? Um, definitely he believes in me. And, you know, that's the, that's the first step for me, somebody to believe in me. And, you know, I, th I don't think I had that, you know. So, like, for somebody to believe in me and, you know, give me an opportunity and say, here, here you go. And I think that was big for me. And, you know, that's what kind of soaked me a lot. Um, just having the faith and, you know, just believe it in me. So I think that's what really sold me on. Like, I think LA is the spot for me. Gotcha. So do, do you have any goals going into the season then? Like what, what, what best case scenario, what do you, uh, what do you show people? Um, <laughs> just, um, you know, going out, playing my game, playing both ends of the floor. You know, that's always been me playing both ends. You know, I can score in transition. I can score in half court. I can play defense. You know, I take pride in my defense. Like I said earlier, like, um, you score on me once I feel like you can't score on me again. You're not, I'm not having it. So, you know, that's just me and that's just who I am. And, you know, that's how I've always been since college. So, you know, just, I think I can bring a lot of energy to this team and, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, starting a new journey and, you know, going to war with my teammates and coaching staff and, you know, trying to bring a championship back to LA again. We'll go over to Sabrina Merchant with SB Nation. 
Hey, Rhea, welcome to LA. Uh, this has been a really, you know, interesting off season for the Sparks. Uh, a lot of new players coming in. I'm just curious, like how you feel about the other moves that this team has made and how you see yourself fitting into that. Um, with the other moves, I feel like it opened up for me to have opportunity, as I said, to like come to LA and, you know, be able to have this opportunity. I feel like, um, you know, the other players went their other ways with free agency. Um, they were great on this team as well, but, you know, right now the focus is the team right now and, you know, what we can do, what we can get done. I know you mentioned that you said that uh, Coach Fisher really believes in you and that was part of the draw of, you know, coming here, but have you guys had any conversations about like what that role is going to look like? Um, basically just being me, being like playing my game of basketball, me getting out in transition, me getting stops on the defensive end, you know, bringing that energy on both ends of the floor. So, you know, um, like I said, I'm looking forward to this opportunity and, you know, I'm forever grateful for this and thankful. So, you know, um, just ready to start competing. Thank you. We'll go over to David Yakowitz with the next. Hey, Bria. Um, you know, Coach Fisher over the weekend had said that um, he really likes the way, you know, you can you can fit in with this team defensively. You know, this team was one of the best defensive teams in the league last year, um, especially with um, assistant coach Trammell. Um, just how do you see yourself adding, you know, to what they already have here on the defensive end? Definitely um, giving more energy, um, for sure. That's one thing. And, you know, for two, just, you know, added on to what they already have. I know what they're capable of doing on defense and it's clear as day. Um, they were a good defensive team and, you know, just adding me, I feel like, you know, just gives them more energy and more length on the defensive end, more athleticism, like just, you know, just being able to play my game and, you know, being able to get out in the passing lane, get steals and, you know, just bring that energy. Chris Camello with Nightcast Media. Hey, Bria, welcome to LA. Congrats on the new contract. Chris Camello here. Thank from you. Night You're welcome. Uh, uh, Chris Camello here from Nightcast Media. Uh, I wanted you to kind of talk about what could, could you provide, given your experience in the league, an element of leadership uh, to this team? And, you know, being of uh, not just setting an example on the court, but also maybe being a voice in the locker room. Do you see like you could also provide that to this team as well? For sure. Um, me going into my sixth year, fifth year playing, um, I feel like I've been to a lot of places in the WNBA already where, you know, I've been in situations where, you know, I was the quiet one. And now since I'm a vet, considered a vet now, I have to be the one to speak up and, you know, speak my mind and say what I feel. So, you know, I'm still, it's still a learning game for me as well. Um, you know, it's vets over there that are older than me. So, you know, I'm still willing to take on learning stuff and as well giving my knowledge of stuff because certain places I've been to and you know like the finals um with Connecticut and just being it going to the playoffs overall you know just having those experiences like you you notice things and you take note and you you know it's 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 a blessing to be able to you know give that knowledge to somebody else over to Kari Jones Jr. with the LA Sentinel Hey, what's going on, uh, Bria? Uh, you just uh, mentioned the finals, you know, and you played in the finals and the playoffs and things of that nature. Can you elaborate on just how your experience will contribute to the Sparks? You, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to compete for uh, a championship as well. Uh, definitely. Um, you know, like I said, come in and give my energy and, you know, whatever, like what happens, happens, you know, in the minutes that I play and I receive, you know, I'm going to be happy. It's, I'm going to play my heart out. I, that's, that's me. I'm a competitor. Um, I play with my heart on my sleeve and, you know, that's one thing nobody can ever take from me. Like I, I play hard and, you know, and I just feel like whatever I'm given here and whatever the opportunity it is for me here in LA, I'm going to take it and I'm going to, you know, be happy with it. And, you know, always cheer my teammates on regardless of what I'm going through or what's happening with me. You know, I'm, I'm all for team. I'm not the I. We'll go to um, Carly Nevis with CBS West Virginia. Hey, Bria, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Um, you know, we spoke over the summer, but now you're the only active West Virginia alum in the WNBA. Just how much pride do you take in representing the Mountaineers? And hopefully some others will join you um, in the summer. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, but, you know, I take definitely, definitely take a lot of pride in that. Um, 
coming from the Big 12, a good conference, and, you know, just being able, being that one person still active in the WNBA coming from that school, um, you know, it's a blessing, like I said, and, you know, I'm forever grateful for the opportunities that I've been receiving and been been through. So, you know, it's, it's a journey, but, you know, I'm forever grateful for it. And what does Baby D think of the move? Oh, you know, Baby D's already a star, so, you know. <laughs> So uh, she's going to love LA. Um, the palm trees, nice weather. She's going to love it. <laughs> Thanks, Bria. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. Uh, we'll go back to John W. Davis. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask about Baby D, too. So, like, have you actually talked to her and tell her, like, you know, we're not going to be in Connecticut anymore? we're going to be in LA this summer. Like, how do you approach that? Because I mean, obviously, you know, that has to be a decision in where you play, like where you feel comfortable with her and where she feels comfortable. Um, that was a long, hard thought out situation for me um, about her. She's only two. So, you know, she's still a baby, baby kind of sort of thing. She's growing up though, but uh yeah, I told her, um, we're going to LA, but she's like looking at me like she's confused, like, but she doesn't understand it yet. But like, once we get on that plane, I think she'll understand it and like we're leaving. Like, but you know, she's she's a joy to be around, a fun person, a, a great personality just to be two years old. So she's, she's a star of the show all the time. <laughs> Thanks, John. Uh, time for a couple more here. Um, just make sure to re-raise your hand or take it down if you're done. We'll go back to Miriam Swanson with the Daily News. Yeah, I wanted to follow up sort of on your roots. Like you're, you're obviously you're a Connecticut gal, um, and you know got to play a couple of years in Connecticut. I mean, wh what was that like? Is, is that hard to sort of leave that? And, and was your like your family or your support system pretty ingrained while while you were out there? Um, yeah, um, my whole family's here in Connecticut and I was born and raised here in New Haven, Connecticut. So, um, you know, it's always a dream to, you know, come back home and play. Um, it's the only professional sport here in Connecticut, you know, like a lot of, I just feel like a lot of people in Connecticut are overlooked when it comes to basketball. So, you know, like I said, like me to, for me to be from here and be able to play for my home state, it was a blessing. Like it was, it was it was a great experience, you know, um, but unfortunately, like it didn't work out in Connecticut for me. Um, so, you know, it was time for me to move on after just two years, but um, it was it was great being home because I had all the support system, all my friends and family are from here. So, you know, just, I had all the help with baby D. So, you know, just having that alone, um, it was a lot. So like I said, uh, a lot played a part of me leaving um, and especially going as far as LA. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm thankful for this opportunity. And, you know, I think it's just time for me to, you know, move on. Thanks. We'll go back to Kari Jones. Hey, Brian. I, I want to know how, how big of a role does, you know, Baby D and your family play into, you know, you getting better and, and just making sure your career is going in the right direction. How big of a motivation do they play in those type of decisions? Oh, uh, they definitely do. Um, you know, especially baby D does, you know, that's my, not my, my, excuse me, my motivation. So, you know, um, whether, whatever I'm going through, like, she's always the one to make you smile, the one to brighten up your day, you know? So like, I just feel like with this decision I made of going so far to LA um, with just her, a two year old, um, it was long and hard thought process, but you know, it's something for me to like better myself, to, you know, experience new things and, you know, get out, get out, get out of my comfort zone if you get what I'm saying. So, you know, just being able to, you know, travel the war with her at an early age and she doesn't quite understand it yet, but later on she will. And, you know, she's definitely my motivation and my family is too, my mom, my uncle, my sister, my brother, like everybody is. So, you know, they support me a hundred percent and, you know, they're gonna, you know, ride with me to the wheels fall off. Thank you so much, Bria. Those are all the hands I see. So I wanna thank the media again for joining. Uh, thank you again, Bria, for your time and we're Welcome. excited to have you here as part of the Sparks family. Thank you. All right, have a great day, everyone.